Hi guys, it's Zoe from Sugar Street Studios and it is nearly Christmas and, well, I just couldn't help myself. We had to make Rudolph, didn't we? Actually, it was Darcy that asked, that asked me to make Rudolph, but she said, Mummy, I need his nose to be a light. She actually asked for a flashing light. That was probably a step too far for me. Um, but his nose lights up and uh, I think this baby Rudolph is pretty cute. So uh, let me show you how I made him. tutorial on how to make your own cake structures this is made with um, MDF and 6mm threaded rod which I hand bent for the back legs and I've covered the whole thing in plastic foil and foil tape to make it food safe um, and the bottom of our reindeer is made from Rice Krispie treats I have pre-filled my cake and refrigerated it so it's nice and cold because I find carving it much easier that way. Oh, that's fun. I like that. All right, try this with me. Jingle bells, jingle bells, go the way. Yeah. Cake clay, so all those off cuts of cake that we had from our cake carving, I've sort of smushed them together. Um, it's, it's cake pot material basically, but I've used that to infill and just to really help get me my shape. The head, I use Rice Krispie Treats again, you could very easily use um, cake here, it's completely up to you. Jingle bells, jingle bells, all the my covering is a combination of the sugar paste and Choctastique, which is the modelling chocolate. I use 50-50 and that gives me a lot longer blending time because as you can see here I'm patchwork covering um, Rudolph um, and that cocoa butter in the, uh, in the modelling chocolate just really allows for a longer working time. I'm covering his feet first and you can see I'm just creating hooves, making sure that um, I've you know, giving him some nice knobbly knees, just adding a little bit of character to those uh, to those feet. And then I'm just going to go in and, as I say, patchwork cover um, the rest of him, seaming together with my with my fingers all of those joins. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. I'm scooping out the eyes with a little sort of miniature, I don't know, melon ball ice cream scoop thing, um, just because I don't want the eyes to protrude from his face when I put them in later. Spirits bright, what fun it is to ride and sing a This is the second colour of our, our sugar paste mix, uh, which is an ivory. Um, you could do the entire cake ivory and then airbrush it, but I quite like the contrast of the two different colours and also it means that I keep my airbrushing to a minimum. Um, and now we're just giving him some little, they're like little spats, aren't they? <laughs> Cute little spats. This is the furry bit that, that, uh, that goes o over his hooves and then I'm just accentuating that muzzle. You can see actually uh, that the coverage round by the eyes is a bit ropey there. That's okay because we're going to cover that uh, later now in fact two circles which i've just shaped to give him a nice sort of batman mask just like the ones i used to know i use the same mix for my ears because of the modeling chocolate in there i know it's going to hold up firm you could also pop it in the fridge for a little bit if you're not confident you can also knead in some tylose powder just for some added um strength um but i've popped popped those in. I put a little bit of extra paste behind for support and they held up just fine. I didn't use a, a cocktail stick or anything to, to put them in. Um, if you were using just plain fondant, you would have to put in some extra support though. It is to ride and sing a 
'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney. Airbrushing. I've used shades of brown. We're going in dark brown. I've used chocolate brown, brown mixed with black、uh, for the darker areas. And then I've also used this is Spectrum Flow. I've used a colour called Latte, Latte, Coffee Latte,、um, which I've put round the、uh, paler areas. The eyes are ice melt. This is a technique、uh, that Liz Merrick shared, which is fantastic、uh, for glittery eyes. So you want to do the ice melt in two stages: the pupil, then a little bit of glitter, and then your and then your colour. And I'm just sealing those off with a with a blowtorch. And once they're cool, obviously I can then pop them into his face. Look at that—he's coming to life. Baby characters are quite androgynous. You sort of want to, you know, they're sort of between the male and female. So those big eyes and the eyelashes give it that slightly feminine look. But he is ultimately、um, a boy, Al Rudolph. I've used sugar clay to make the antlers. Sugar clay sticks to itself; don't need any glue. I've just rolled three logs of different sizes and blended them together, and then just put them on a stick so that I can insert them into Rudolph later. They're airbrushed with Spectrum Flow silver glitter, and then I've gone over the top with a gold iridescent. Uh, Colour just to really make them sparkly and Christmassy, and the hair I've just rolled into tapered logs, which I've blended together with my、um, sugar shapers tool, and then I've airbrushed it in the same latte colour that I have done his eyes,、um, and then、uh, a little bit of brown as well, just to you know, just to bring a bit of depth to it. <laughs> I used sugar clay, red sugar clay, for his、um, belt collar here,、um, but you could use fondant、um, or gum paste. And I've airbrushed it with a metallic red from Spectrum Flow. We the bells.、Um, I have a tutorial for the bells, so I show you how to make them there. And I've attached them using、um, melted、uh, candy melts. Just because they're much stronger to hold them in place. This is, this is ice melt, coloured red. You need to wear gloves. You can see I'm operate. I'm working it on a mat because it is too hot to touch.、Um, I'm using a balloon pump just to slowly pump in some air to create the nose. And in order to get it off, you have to heat it up as you do your knife, so that we can cut it. It's obviously too big、um, as it is, so I'm just cutting it down to shape before I put it on Rudolph.、Um, the lights that I've used,、um, I've just ordered them from Amazon. They're little LED lights, and they stay burning for about they're burning. They stay alight for about 24 hours.、Um, so obviously, do this. At the last possible moment,、um, I heated up the underside of the nose, and then that just sort of pressed in and stuck in place. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. This Rudolph is off to be devoured by a bunch of kids, so、uh, but I'm sure they're going to absolutely love him first. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please share it.、Um, please subscribe. I absolutely love seeing new people join. It's so awesome to have you. Lots of really exciting things ahead for 2019. So I really、uh, hope to share the journey with you all. And in the meantime, if I don't、uh, post another video, which I might not, have a very merry Christmas. Jingle bells.